Meanwhile, the national chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Adam Soshomale, has said the Supreme Court's judgment and all in the party's victory in Bayosa State lacks the fruits of justice. Oshomele said this at a media briefing in Abuja on Thursday, signaling the party's intention to challenge the judgment in court. He explained that by the judgment, no one will be sworn in as governor in Bayosa on Friday because aside from the candidate of the APC, David Leon, no other candidate has the constitutional spread to be sworn in as governor. He said, and I quote, the party's lawyers are already studying the judgment to take the necessary legal action, end of quote. As a political party, we respect the rule of law and we respect and we have confidence in the judiciary. However, this judgment obviously lies the fruits of justice. For me and for our party, at the heart of election is the issue of who did the people actually vote for. Is there a case of impersonation on the part of the deputy governor elect? Is there any other person who has turned up to claim that name as to raise doubt as to whether or not this was the deputy governor elect, duly elected along with the governor during the Bayesa governorship election? Now, where justice and democracy is sacrificed on the altar of technicalities, this for me constitutes a grave danger to our democracy. If, as the Supreme Court has ruled, the Bileon cannot now be sworn in as governor, and that the person who has the highest number of votes and is spread the sworn in, it simply means that from tomorrow there will be no government in Bayesa State.